Hey there guys, welcome back. Today we'll see the methods of class set. The first method of class set is add. Add method adds a given element to the set. If the element is already present, it does not add any element and it returns none. So let's see. Making new example h.py x is equal to 1, 2, 3 x dot add 4 and we will print x and print type of x now running h dot pi okay see 4 is added in our set okay also if we use set function to create empty set object and then at the same time we add element to the set by using add method then we will not get the set back because add method returns none so we will get none at the end let's see comment this first we will create empty set x is equal to set and then dot add one look add method adds the element in the set but along with it it also returns none and we assign that value to x so x will at the end becomes none so we will get none okay so uh, let's see running h dot pi look x is none and type of x is none type okay now the second method of class set is remove remove takes one argument and it removes the specified element from the set when it removes the value it also updates the set but it does not return any value okay let's see making new example i dot pi uh, let's say x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and x dot remove 6 and we'll print x now running i dot pi see in our set 6 is removed okay so set can shrink okay set can grow and set can shrink now next method is pop the pop method removes an arbitrary element from the set and returns the removed element okay and it does not takes any argument let's see new example j dot pi suppose we have a list x is equal to 12 34 56 78 and 90 pop returns the removed element so we'll print it x dot pop and print x so let's see what it will remove running j dot pi okay 34 is removed from our list okay and let's call pop two more times so we'll remove three elements and running j dot pi okay so 34 12 and 78 are removed and we are left with 56 and 90 okay so this was pop method the next method is update the update method add items from other iterables and updates the set okay let's see suppose we have this set x is equal to and let's say we have another set y is equal to 5 6 7 and we will call x dot update y and print x now running k dot pi okay so our x set is updated and we are getting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay we are getting the elements of all the two sets okay and here in update method we can pass multiple iterables also so let's see let's make a variable z is equal to and i will assign a list 52 61 and 17 and another variable k is equal to tuple 
25,6,7 and m is equal to string test and x dot update z comma k comma m now let's run okay we are getting all the values in a single set that is set x we are getting the values of x 1 2 3 4 the values of k 6 7 and s and e comes from test 17 comes from z t from m 52 comes from z 25 comes from k 61 comes from z okay so we are getting all the elements of all the iterables okay x z k and m okay and remember we can't pass the non iterables in the update it will give us error so you can check with the help of examples and share them in the comments now it is very important to know that set is mutable in the last section we have seen that set is mutable but the individual records we put in set they can't be mutable they have to be immutable and if we pass mutable records then they will give us error okay so let's see making you example l dot pi we have a set x is equal to uh, suppose we have list inside set 34 12 23 and 21 45 integer data types and we'll print x now running n dot pi look here we are getting type error unhashable type list unhashable means those records which can change their value over time means in short they are mutable unhashable means mutable list can change over time so list is unhashable or mutable okay so we can't pass mutable records in set but set itself is mutable okay so let's recap the first method was add and adds the given element to the set and it returns none remove method takes one argument and it removes the specified element from the set it does not return any value next was pop pop removes an arbitrary element from the set and it returns the removed element and the last method we saw today was update update add items from other iterables and updates the set so that was all for today we'll see more methods in the next lecture so see you there bye bye